Hi there, today we're gonna build two microphones cable or XLR or balanced, call it how you like, but mainly the name is microphone cables. So I have these two, these are female, let's call it, and two males. So this is the schematic over here, it's very simple. You see we have three pins, one, two and three. It's counterclockwise. It's uh, the other way around, I may call it. So we have on one, the shield, that will be this one. You see, this, the whole metal shielding the wires inside, you know, this, this unisolated ones, this will be the shield. And then we're gonna use white for cold on number three, and then red on number two for the hot one. Okay, first of all, this is a professional microphone cable. You can see we have uh, cotton over here and uh, that's for keeping the, the things together and to make it elastic and solid in the same time. Let's cut this down. It's always my letterman around for helping, of course. Okay, so that's how the ends should like. Okay, so here we have the tops. So this is ready to go. Let me have the other way around. Same story. I just take the shield away. Well, it's nice to use this kind of balanced cables. Uh, this will uh, connect my mixer to power amplifiers or effects or whatever goes out and into the mixer. It's always nice to use balanced uh, wires because they are very quiet and you can use it for longer distances than the normal simple jack, 6.3 jack or something. Okay. So this is prepared too. All we have to do now is to attach, to solder this to the connectors, XLR connectors. I'm gonna start with the male. Don't forget to, <laughs> don't forget to have this in the cable, on the cable. So these are really nice male connectors cause you don't need uh, any screws. You know, the top it's doing uh, all the necessary pressure. Okay, there we are. So when you screw in, these things will stop the cable for running in and out. Let me have it here. Now I will prepare my, like this. I will prepare my uh, TS100 iron, soldering iron, flux, soldering wire. Let's prepare the, the cable first. This is rosin, purely rosin. It's not toxic. And then let's have ice. Let's check for number one. You see, you, we have numbers over here. One, three, and two. So number one, it's this one here. Okay. I said on number one, we have the shield. But before anything else, let me have some connection to the
yes we're gonna have a connection over here down here and this will be and this will be the ground of the case so this one also goes to number one over here but for now nice beautiful over here so we have the ground on pin one and we also have the ground to the case to the metal part of this is very important too okay on number three we have the cold and i said i'm gonna use the i'm gonna use the white one for the cold connection here. Don't over soldiering here because this can be fatter to the pin and to the plastic holder. And look here. We have the first connection done. It took three minutes. I think even less. Okay, there we go. Let me have the metal case. There is a certain way to insert this like this. And then we have, okay, you go there. This goes also, you see, we have a, we have a single way to do this. And this is over here. And the last thing we have to do is to tighten the screw. And we are ready to go. This is the male side. Now let me have the female. Same story. Prepare the wire. But here we have to dismantle an old cable of mine. So I'm going to reuse these connectors. Okay, these are a little bit different, so I can call it kind of uh, old school connector. They've been tied for so long, so I can't reach it anymore. What we got here? Oh yes, so we have one, it's already connected here, beautiful. All we have to do is to dismantle this one, number two, and because one, you see this is number one over here, it's already to the ground, very nice. Okay, this one goes out, don't forget about this, we need this back like that and then like that. Before doing any soldiering, anything, check if you have the rubber thing on the cable. And I need to take this out from here because we don't need it anymore. There we go. Now 
number three. You see, we have the schematic number three. It's this one with red. Perfect. White here. And the last one goes right here. Or may, maybe I should put it here on pin instead of the general crown. Perfect, we are ready to go. You see, it took me like maybe five minutes to do this. Now let's create back. I have a microphone cable in less than 10 minutes. Maybe we should try to check this. So remember we have number one is to the ground. So let's check this. We have this number one here and number one there. Let's see. Perfect. Number three, that's the hot. Perfect. Cold. And that's it. No short anything. Okay, same story of the next cable and uh, that's the idea of making your own or doing your own cables. It's very easy and uh, you know exactly what kind of cables you are using, what kind of connectors and it's not necessarily cheaper, but uh, it's nice to understand what's really happening here. You can replace them very easy, you can fix them very easy and uh, well, why not? It's a little fun too. Okay, thank you for now. I hope it's useful. Like and subscribe and uh, don't forget to have fun. See you soon with some other projects. Bye bye.